Civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump is representing the family of the man killed at a Clearwater Stand Your Ground case. Tenure reporter Bo Zimmer is at the Pinellas County Criminal Justice Center. And Bo, Crump represented the family of Trayvon Martin, and now he is stepping into this case, which is now getting national attention. Yeah, and I think that's really part of the game plan here to, to develop enough public outcry, if there wasn't enough already, and international attention on this case to really pressure uh, the state attorney's office and Bernie McCabe to pursue charges in this case against uh, Michael Draca, of course, the man involved with this Stand Your Ground case. Uh, Draca, uh, of course, uh, was... Uh, uh, you know, involved with this shooting and killing of 28-year-old Marquise McLaughlin uh, during a dispute with McLaughlin's girlfriend over her parking in a designated disabled parking space. Now, this whole incident was caught on camera, and that could be key in helping the state attorney's office decide if they're going forward with charges. Allison, as you said, Benjamin Crump, who gathered with the family here this morning, was involved in the Trayvon Martin case, and while there, there was video in that, uh, there was no video in that case. There are plenty many of other similarities. They could have just let the police do their job, but these wannabe cops initiated the confrontation and shot and killed in cold blood these unarmed black men. And then they both were allowed to go home and sleep in their bed that night after killing unarmed black men. Okay, one of the questions I asked this afternoon was, uh, what is the timeline on when the state attorney's office may come back with a decision to, to go after and pursue charges or not? Uh, the attorneys told me that could happen at any time. It could be days, it could be weeks, it could be months, uh, but they're hoping for a decision sooner than later. Sooner than later. Reporting live, Bo Zimmer, 10 News.